Hey guys, Mr. B here. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on what's going on up in the uh, grow station for some of my uh, warm season vegetables. Uh, again, like I've mentioned in my other videos, I'm a little bit behind this year, but uh, still chugging along and uh, hopefully going to have uh, my raised beds all filled up real good this summer. Uh, here's just some of the tomatoes that I've grown this year. I did, uh, I'm doing six varieties actually seven varieties this year uh the ones i don't have in here are some uh, paul robesons and some sweet 100s they're already outside hardening off but uh these are ones that i grew everything by seed this year these are actually all from seeds i saved here too so uh what i got here i got a couple of six packs of the golden sun ray those were a real great uh orange variety of tomato they kind of made like a teardrop shape and an inverted teardrop shape uh, orange tomato they were great this is the woodle orange those were uh, fantastic that's pretty much been my favorite uh, heirloom uh, tomato to date uh, nice orange sized about the size of an orange orange flesh uh, real sweet real meaty just an excellent tomato so I got a couple of six packs of those growing in there too I uh, got the Cherokee Purples again. Last year was my first year growing those. They just did okay. Um, the tomato, my, my tomatoes weren't all that great last year. We were in a, a another year of drought last year. So uh, this year I'm going to hook up my drip system, kind of get a little bit better watering system down this year and uh, hopefully have a, a better year. Because the year before when I had my drip system going real well, uh, that was real nice, but uh, I hand watered last year and it was just real inconsistent and uh, just didn't get, didn't get the quality that I was hoping to. So Cherokee Purples, trying those again this year. Um, gold Metal, those were a real nice uh, kind of a tie-dyed orange and red. You slice them in half and inside it was actually a swirl of red and orange inside. They were a great tomato too. They were a, a bigger beefsteak variety where these Cherokee purples, they were about the size of an apple for me. Kind of a squatty type of uh, tomato too. Um, the thing that I'm doing different this year, I'm doing these Amish paste. I got some free seeds from uh, Baker Creek from uh, rareseeds.com. And I'm going to do about eight of those all in a row in cages this year. All these are going to be strung up single strand, where these are going to be my only ones in cages because they're a determinate variety. They're going to grow up to a certain size, hopefully all ripen within a matter of a couple weeks of each other. And I'm going to use those for canning. I'm going to make stewed tomatoes, going to make some sauces, and just can up a bunch of stuff. So I'll have eight of those out in the garden this year. Um, there'll be a couple extras in here. I always make sure that, uh, you know, none of this stuff goes to waste. My neighbors get them, my friends get them, my, uh, my family gets them. Whatever I don't use goes to other people. Um, then back here... Sorry about the shakiness. Uh, I got my blueberries varieties again. Those are the cherry tomatoes. Uh, they were awesome. They were uh, started out kind of a citrusy tang and then got real sweet. They were kind of a, a real dark blue purple variety from, uh, I believe it's Brad Gates. I think his company's called Wild Boar Farms out in uh, Napa, California, which is only about 20 miles from here. Um, they were real great. He's got some great varieties that he's doing. Um, right here, got a whole bunch of uh, basil, a couple 12 packs of basil I did from a seed this year. This is the Genovese basil. And then in the back, uh, two different varieties of uh, tomatillos that I'll be growing too. Um, all this stuff, again, was grown by seed. It was all germinated in uh, organic cocoa coir. And uh, the only thing I use as liquid for hydrating that and for watering them and even watering these all the way up till today is just the uh, maxi crop liquid seaweed. It's the uh, granular dry kind and I just hydrate it in, uh, in non-chlorinated water. And that's what I've used to water all of these from the day they germinated until today. So these have been transplanted one time. These are put into a, uh, a growing medium that I get from a, a local uh, hydroponic type store and it's called a maxi no mega root it's the mega root uh soil it's organic soil with uh this this soil actually has some organic foods in it for the plants uh where the uh the uh cocoa coir had nothing except for the uh 
the maxi crop liquid seaweed that I gave it. So in this, I also mixed about uh, maybe about 40% of my homemade compost that I made in my composters this year. So that's what's in this. And these things are, these things are growing great right now. This grow station right up here is getting about 90 degrees in the afternoons. Uh, it's really cooking. I'm sweating in here right now. Um, about every three days, I'm having to fill this thing with about an inch of, uh, the water, the, the liquid seaweed, it's a, it's a diluted solution of it. It's not real dark, but, uh, and about every three days it, it's gone. I mean, it soaks it up and there and they start getting dry after about three days. So, uh, they're really soaking it up and they're really putting on the growth. They're growing at least an inch a day right now. So, um, that's what's going on out here right now, guys. Oops. Sorry about the, the darkness in there, but, uh, Things are going good. I hope things are going well with your garden and whatever you're growing this year. And, uh, you know, just really encourage you to grow organically and uh, hopefully grow heirloom varieties and grow them by seed. It's a, a heck of a lot cheaper and it's uh, just real satisfying getting these things to go from greet, from seed to fruit and, uh, and get a bountiful harvest out of them. So thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, you know, hit like if you want. Subscribe if you like. And uh, leave any comments or questions, guys. Thanks a lot. And have a good season.